Greetings. My name is Mr. William Downey. I'm the 80th Training Command, Sexual Harassment, Assault, Response and Prevention, or SHARP, Program Manager, as well as the Command's Sexual Assault Response Coordinator. Sexual harassment, sexual assault, and the retaliation for reporting either will not be stood for in our formations. The Department of the Army created the SHARP program to assist soldiers, Department of the Army civilians, and adult family members if they are ever subjected to these types of behaviors. The 80th Training Command has trained sexual assault response coordinators and victim advocates who are credentialed by the National Organization of Victim Assistance. They are ready to provide advocacy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hey, Mr. Fink. Hey. Uh, Chief Sims, do you have a moment? Can I speak to you? Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. Been here for about five months, yes. I'm a little bit new. Yeah. Um, well, I'm Mr. Fink. I'm the Sharp Victim Advocate here at the 80th Training Command. Um, I've been a Sharp now for a little over three years, you know, so I've had some case work. Um, is there something you want to talk about? Yes, um, it started about five, six weeks ago, maybe. Um, about three of the male soldiers were in a cubicle next to mine talking about their weekend. Um, so basically, they would come back from their weekends and talk about their partying. And what it all sounds like is that they have a point system for every um, woman they pick up and the things that they do with them. Um, for different um, sexual, maybe, um, action they do, it, it earns like 50 points or whatever, and they're racking up these points and different things up there. And it's very descriptive. They're over there talking about this stuff. Very descriptive. Um, and about the second time that they did that, um, the second weekend maybe that they came back from, you know, it was like a Tuesday, I had had enough and I, I just said, I was sitting in my cubicle and I just threw my hands up and said, enough, I'm right here. And um, I could hear they lowered their voices. Um, I thought it had stopped, but yesterday morning, they I guess they went to the gym and one of them picked up a woman while he was there. And once again, came back, They share, he shares the details, describing her body parts very explicit, very disrespectful. I'm sitting right there. Mm -hmm. um, so while I thought it had stopped, you know, back yesterday morning again after the gym, it sounded like they were at the gym when this happened. And um, it, it's just very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So what you're describing to me is definitely sexual harassment in accordance with the AR 600-20. And it definitely sounds like you did use one of the five responses which is the direct response. So that's very good. Uh, there are four other responses that you can use, okay? Um, not that you have to, but there are other options to use as well, okay? Um, one of the other responses is the indirect response, which is you can write, it, write a note or send an email explaining to them to no longer do the, the behavior that they're, they're uh, that they're doing in the office, in your environment, okay? Um, just letting them know that it's not professional, all right, to talk that way around you. Uh, the third way would be a third-party response, okay, which means bringing in someone else, perhaps maybe a fellow coworker, okay? Are there anyone, is there anyone else in the office that is also experiencing this, or is there someone close by that you could ask to speak well, there are others in the other cubicles. Mm -hmm. There are others around, and I'm sure they're hearing this this conversation going on. So I'm thinking, yes, others are hearing it. Okay. The fourth response is the chain of command. So your first sergeant or the commander, okay? They can definitely speak to them as well. They can do a counseling statement, or, okay, they can speak to them. All right, so that's your option as well. And the last option is an informal or formal complaint, okay? So the, for, the informal complaint, we can just do a memorandum for record, or a formal complaint is where we sit down and the commander, we do a re report, okay, 
we give it to the commander and then he will do an investigation okay so does that help you knowing these different responses absolutely I think I'd like to go back and actually do a direct you know talk to them instead of sitting in my cubicle and and doing that so I'd like to use a direct approach but is it is it okay that if that doesn't work and I use multiple um, maybe somebody in the office is willing to go with me and approach and then if that doesn't work, can I come back and do like a formal complaint? Absolutely. We can do a formal complaint. Okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, I, I think that's what I want to go do. I'm, I'm going to do a direct first, and then I'll let you know how that goes. Okay. I'd like you to do a follow-up visit. Okay. So I'd like you to have some information. Give me a call in about a week, or I can give you a call either way. Okay. How about uh, let's set up a date. Okay. How about the 30th? Would that be a good day for you? Maybe 4 o'clock? Okay. That should All right. be good. Okay, good. Thank you so much. All right. If you or someone you know has encountered sexual assault or sexual harassment, please don't hesitate to contact your local SHARP office.